All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your SmackDown review for December 8th, 2023. That was a decent uh, show. It's uh, more than one star on the show. Since Roman's not going to be around that much. You had CM Punk and Randy Orton. See ya. This was the promo. Easily had the best thing on the show tonight. It wasn't even close. This was the promo he should have cut on Raw. His first his first Raw back like a, nearly two weeks ago. When he was talking about like, oh, I love you guys. I love the fans. Like, what? <laughs> what kind of, who was this CM Punk, man? All this Mr. Nice Guy stuff. He was calling people out tonight. Setting up potential feuds. This this is the CM Punk we want. Pretty good promo on the mic from Punk. Yeah, so he called out Rollins. He called out Kevin Owens. He made fun of his uh, AEW uh, AEW uh, fights backstage. He's like, Kevin Owens has been punching guys in the face backstage. That's not something you should do. I'm <laughs> just joking around. And then he called out Roman Reigns. That was good. Uh, he talked about the Usos, the bloodline. Roman's not there. Never there. Talked about Randy Orton. Yeah, he just named a bunch of people in his promo. So thought that was good. Elsewhere, he had the main event. Solid main event, I thought. Randy Orton and LA Knight versus the uh, bloodline. They faced uh, Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso. He had uh, Randy Orton not really trusting LA Knight. And then uh, the GM is like, uh, oh, uh, he made the save for you last week. Uh, I thought that was a good idea to make the match tonight. So he was Randy Orton wasn't trusting LA Knight. And the way things ended, the way the match ended, don't not sure if they're going to trust each other going forward, but we'll see. Yeah, but that was pretty much the main things on the show tonight. And you had the United States uh, title tournament starting tonight. They showed the brackets. It's pretty obvious who's going to win. Looks like it's going to be Kevin Owens. We're going to point this tournament in wrestling. All right, let's get to it. First up, we got, it was Tribute to the Troops Night. Shout out to the troops that were all there in attendance. I think most of the audience was, most of them were troops. Or maybe, and then maybe family members of the armed forces. All right, so we had, first up, the first round matchup for the U.S. Championship Tournament. It was Santos Escobar versus Dragon Lee. Before the match starts, dumbass Don Dominic Mysterio, he shows up. He's just chilling outside the ring. Santos hit a power bomb in the apron, then he hit a super kick for a two count. Dragon Lee hit a power bomb for a near fall, and then Santos hit the Phantom Driver for the win. So he advances to the second round. He's gonna face the winner of Bobby Lashley versus Karrion Cross. That matches later on in the night. All right, backstage, we got a segment with Nick Aldis and Randy Orton. He says, uh, Randy Orton says, I got to the arena. While I was getting to the arena tonight, I learned tonight that I'm going to be, te- you got me teaming with LA Knight versus Jimmy and Solo. Nick Aldis said, uh, I saw LA Knight make the save last week. Randy says, I didn't need to be saved. I got to trust this guy now. I just found out who he is last week. <laughs> Come on, Randy. He's been. Been over for a few months now. You just found out last week. Come on, bro. And then Randy says, "Oh, Randy, before the segment, uh, right when he, before the segment started, he gave he gave Nick Aldis a hundred thousand dollar check. Nick, Nick Aldis says the fine was only fifty thousand, not a hundred. And then Randy says that's for next time. So he, he Nick Aldis fined him for our for Randy Orton RKO. That's hilarious." I thought that was funny. All right. Next up, we got Cody Rhodes. This was a pointless segment. He could have just, you could have done this segment without anybody. He could just, so he's out there for the tribute to the troops night. He, he throws it to a video package. It's basically Cena narrating the video. And then it was like the U.S. Army drill team. They were like doing like tricks with their guns and stuff, like tossing them in the air and just whatever. It was kind of pointless. All right, next up, we got Bobby Lashley versus Karrion Cross. Where, where's Karrion Cross been, man? This guy should be one of the biggest stars in the company, man. He's got the look, talking the mic, good character, good gimmick. I don't know why they're not pushing him, man. They're doing nothing with him. 
Bobby Lashley hit a flatliner, then he hit a suplex, and he hit the spear for the win. These tournament matches have been nothing tonight. Just pretty obvious who's going to win them. So Bobby Lashley advances to the second round. He's going to face Santos Escobar next week. In this, or no, it's not next week. Uh, I think it's the week. Is it the week after or next week? I don't know. Whenever it is. But Santos Escobar is probably going to win. He's the one getting pushed right now. Backstage, you got a segment with damage control. Bailey apologizes pretty much for last week. And she says she's going to volunteer for her to stay in the back tonight. And Charlotte Flair faces Asuka. That's whatever. All right. Let's get to the best part of the night. CM Punk. Hellfro, he's got his new Hellfro's over t-shirt. Says, do you want me to sign with Raw or SmackDown? Few people don't. They don't like me or whatever. He's like, many people are happy for me. Few people are are not happy. And then he says, Kobe Rhodes, it's not what do you want to talk about. It's who do you want me to talk about? Says, Roman Reigns. Says he acknowledges his tribal chief. He says, don't forget the OG, Paul Heyman. He was my he was my wise man first. <laughs> That's true. And then he uh Heyman backstabbed him and he went with Brock Lesnar and then you now Heyman's with Roman Reigns. Whoever whoever's a heavyweight champ, that's who Heyman's with, yo. You don't roll with scrubs, man. You gotta be world champion. Or Heyman's gonna get rid of you. All right, and then he says, uh, oh, can I tag with Randy? He hears his voices in his head. Kevin Owens. <laughs> KO, you can't keep punching people backstage, man. <laughs> That's not a good thing to do. <laughs> oh, man. That was AEW. Uh, AEW beefs backstage this year. Oh, and last year. And then he says, uh, he's talking about Seth Rollins here. He says he's not even the man in his own house. <laughs> Oh, man. This is what you talk about, man. But promos. CM Punk has got the smoke for everybody. And then he says, I'm here at a main event. I'm going to win the Royal Rumble and main event WrestleMania. He says he wants to finish his story pretty much. So that's a Cody Rhodes thing. And backstage, you got a segment with Cody Rhodes and CM Punk. Cody Rhodes says, uh, sounds like for you to finish your story, you'll have to win the Royal Rumble. Good to have you back, old friend. And then they shook hands. Not really much of a segment. And then we have main event. Oh, no. We had uh, Charlotte Flair versus Asuka towards the end of the match. Bailey interferes when she said she was going to stay in the back. And then she helped uh, Asuka pretty much win the match. She's like, oh, I'm the... After the match, she's like, oh, I'm the reason that... Uh, that... Uh, that Oscar won or whatever. It's whatever. Who cares? All right. Next up, we got Solo Sokoa and Jim Uso versus LA Knight and Randy Orton. Randy hit Jimmy with the back suplex. Then LA Knight and Solo both tag in. LA Knight hit a neck breaker. Solo hit a belly to belly suplex. Randy Orton gets a tag. Cleans house. Orton hit a power slam on Jim Uso. And a back suplex on the announce table on Jimmy. And back in the ring. He tosses him back in the ring. He hit a middle rope DDT on uh, Jimmy Uso. Elliot Knight's in the ring. He went, He goes for a BFT. And while this is going on, Randy pretty much, like, uh, he grabs Jimmy Uso before Elliot Knight can hit the BFT. And he hits the RKO for the win. And then they look at each other right here. The alien Knight's pretty much thinking, oh, you pulled a fast one, man. And Randy's like, oh, I know I did, or whatever, thinking. So, yeah, they, they shook hands after Ellie Knight and Randy Orton. So, kind of a little bit of tension there between Randy Orton and Ellie Knight building. But I think they're going to, they should they should be cool because they got one thing in common, go after the bloodline. That's pretty much what they're going to do until uh, until the Royal Rumble looks like. Because they both want a shot at Roman Reigns for the title. LA Knight wants his rematch. And Randy Orton wants payback on the bloodline. Because they're the ones that put him on the shelf. For a year and a half. So we'll see what happens with that next week. And then they showed. Uh, 
what was it next week? Uh, the oh yeah, the other two matches. You got Kevin Owens versus Austin Theory, and then Grayson Waller is gonna face somebody from NXT. It's gonna be uh hand chosen by Shawn Michaels, HBK, and then Roman Reigns is back next week. So hopefully we got a good a uh, good segment or promo with Roman Reigns and Randy Orton next week. Should be good. All right, so that was my thoughts on SmackDown. Like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.